Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This will be your weekly reading for the dates listed above. Hopefully there's something here that will help you. It will be a general reading. I will be using three cards, nothing too heavy Taurus, just to have a look and see um, if there is something that can be quite revealing for us or for you for the upcoming weeks. So absolutely more than welcome to watch this video like subscribe share would really appreciate it Taurus if you were after a private reading with me all the information that you require is listed below this video such as email list of prices services right, so let's get straight into it and see what's coming up for the sign of Taurus Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus in the upcoming week Taurus Sun Moon Rising Venus in the upcoming week okay Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, what is this indecisiveness, Taurus? Should you stay or should you go? Should you protect this or should you not? Okay, let's start off with the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands can definitely point to a little bit of indecisiveness, okay? I feel like you're surrounded by the element of choice. Now, the Wands do represent fire signs, so I'm not sure if this is something you're deciding um, over if you're pondering over a fire sign um, perhaps a long distance relationship here I feel like this person is longing okay longing to see the world longing to reconnect with someone that is further away from them so if you are dealing with a foreign person or a foreign lover I feel like there could be a little bit of indecisiveness a little bit of back and forth okay that the creation of the two creates duality already so already there's conflict or opposition because there's a counterpart to the one so there may be some sort of division here that's coming in for some of you Taurians that are watching now for some it can revolve around an Aries a Sagittarius or Leo um, the notion of uh, should you stay or should you go okay because he's almost ready to go on a quest and embark on sightseeing adventure um, you know to see the world to be reunited with someone here that is around the world or should he stay the other one is bolted down to the castle okay there's a very important decision that you're going to need to make now if this isn't revolving a fire sign if you aren't dealing with a fire sign or anyone long distance it could just be indecisiveness about something you want to pursue or have or do. You know, the ones is all about our passion. It's awakening our passion. So there might be something that you're very passionate about. Uh, it may involve you traveling. It may involve you being um, on the international uh, stage, okay, platform, acting, filming, uh, social media, you know, some sort of presence, international or global presence. Um, it could be something you're very deeply passionate about, but for some reason you feel a little bit restricted. Uh, there could be resources, finances, or someone, or, you know, a relationship or a person or something that's happening around you in life right now that's holding you back, that is preventing you from moving forward. Because look at this disruption that looms here, Taurus. The Seven of Wands with the Nine of Wands, okay? This is not letting you move forward and make a decision, or it's actually hindering you from making a solid decision, um, is what I'm seeing. Now, to take these cards out of the equation, the Two of Wands can definitely indicate travel plans, meeting someone foreign, um, meeting someone of a different culture, could be bilingual, learning a new language, expansion on the global scale, okay, for a company, for yourself, culture, you know, worldliness, um, and things like that. Uh, but if I look at these other cards here, I feel like with the Seven of Wands, this is resistance or you having to defend your choices, defend yourself for some reason here. Um, it almost looks like it's an attack. So I'm not sure if someone will try to say something that will upset you here, Taurus, in the upcoming week. Um, or you might say something to a fire sign and they might feel really, you know, they might feel like it's a personal attack on them and they feel like they need to defend their actions. I think this is you though. I do see you possibly, um, because you have such passion or such intensity around this matter, or around this person, I see you reacting and your reaction is everything in the upcoming week. Um, but I do feel like there's, you're questioning why you should, why you need to explain yourself to people you're questioning why you should be why you why you should feel attacked in the first place if this is your decision you know because there's all these other opinions and, and ones that are near you but you you stand elevated so you're standing your ground here you're not putting up with any bs which is nice taurus i've got to applaud you for that you know um i've got a best friend that i've known for so many years and, and she's a taurian and i 
just absolutely love that facet of her. I love that ability for her to stand her ground. Um, you know, sometimes, yes, it is stubbornness, but the fact that she can be so true to herself, it's extremely admirable. Um, and it's not backing down, I feel, okay? Sometimes, you know, to each and every situation is different, of course, the way you handle yourself. But I feel like you're so, your footing is so firm and you shouldn't waver. People will disagree. People will have something to say. You can't please everyone, Taurus. It just doesn't work that way. Um, not in life, unfortunately. Um, your goals are your goals. Your desires are your desires. I don't know if someone is pressuring you to make a decision, okay? Is there a fire sign or if not a fire sign, there's someone that's exhibiting fire energy. So someone could feel hot-headed. Someone could feel really fueled by your lack of decision or your indecisiveness, okay? Someone might be feeling like, well... You know, it's almost like when I say the personal attack, I mean like someone might feel deeply offended, the fact that you may be in two minds about them or about something, and they might feel like, well, I shouldn't have to fight for you. It should come naturally. It's this type of energy, uh, Taurus. So is someone trying to coax out an answer from you, or they want answers from you, or you want answers from them? Possibly not the best way to go about things with the Seven of Wands, though. It only leads to someone feeling, you know, like they're in the corner, defenseless, trying to stand their ground. You know, the reaction is quite, you know, it's a blowing up reaction. It's it's exploding or imploding. Uh, because you also have the Nine of Wands, which is that, you know, I'm protecting myself. I've got my guard up. No way am I letting let anyone penetrate through these ones. You're standing guard or there's a fire sign around you that's very much standing guard, okay? Um, and you won't breach their defenses, at least, at least not now. It could be that they're in two minds. It could be that they're dealing with another person, okay? Another lover, another connection. It could also be like if you are, you know... If you if you do if you are a person in an industry or in a field or a part of a community group where all your actions are available to the public, like if you are someone that your your actions are um, are seen by a lot of people, are seen by the world, whether it's through communities or through social media or maybe you're famous, I feel like these actions will be scrutinized. I feel like that you'll be judged on your actions here, Taurus. Um, the world watches and awaits. Why? What is it? What is it about this upcoming week that's so massive or could potentially be so massive for you about making a decision but yet standing your ground at the same time and protecting yourself? Some of you, it could be some, this has just come to me as well, Taurus. It could be the division between what's public and what's private, okay? There could be a lesson here about you sharing things, intimate things with the world or someone you're with sharing or someone you work with sharing, you know, things that you're doing behind closed doors or things that, you know, are more private, um, things that are to be locked away, you know, behind closed doors, behind the castle walls, not out there for everyone to see. So it could be that division here between sharing what's public and what's private that may ruffle a few feathers in the upcoming week. Um, but it's you being on alert or you needing to protect something here. So for those that have um, a creative outlet or something you're putting out there to the world, photography, scripts, media, filming, um, anything that is of your creation, it could be a symbol, uh, could be symbolism here to protect that through copyrights, patents, legalities, registrations, and things like this, because you may feel threatened, okay, that someone will take your idea, or your, you won't, won't be receiving full creditation for what it is that you've created or accomplished here, uh, because there could be jealousy, there could be envy around you, there could be someone coming forward, um, or someone that can take your ideas and it would slip through your fingers. So make sure if it is anything like that, you're protecting that. Um, absolutely. That's very, very important for you, I feel, in the upcoming week. Nonetheless, Taurus, I will leave the reading at that. I do hope it has been insightful for you. Please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe if you have enjoyed this weekly content and you'd like to see it on a weekly basis moving forward. 